134 of Lara Rama 9 series in which we get getting the multi vendor e commerce website. So, we will continue working on the one page checkout process. And in this video, we are going to work on the Laravel Ajax validation for our delivery address form. Okay, so we able to add edit and remove the delivery address the user can able to add the multiple delivery addresses here you can see that we have already added two of the delivery addresses here and the user can able to add the more delivery address if you want to add but here we have not added any kind of validation you can see we can click on save and it shows us the error okay we are going to check the error as well in console like i have already explained you that how to check in console for any particular error for any ajax jquery error uh, that you will get you can check in console by opening this console right click and you can uh, click on inspect in every browser uh, its feature is uh, already there you can right click and click on inspect okay so after going there here you can see the error message is coming and you can click here save delivery address and you will find uh, okay so uh, we can get this error message and here if i will click on this this save delivery address uh, okay uh, so i'm going to try once again and we'll see that what error it will exactly show and see it is showing like this so i will click here now so now it is uh, showing us that uh, error message it is showing the, the column name cannot be null because uh, we have not added any kind of uh, uh, value in the name field so it is giving us the error of the null value is required at least uh, but we want the user to fill all these details only then uh, the user can able to check out with that product otherwise uh, if we don't have the delivery address then uh, there is no mean to place the order okay uh, then uh, we must not allow the user to place the order so in that case the validations are really important we need to add the validations here so that the user can fill up the valid delivery address okay so we must get the valid delivery address uh, so that we can deliver uh, its order to the valid address okay uh, so for that uh, so we are going to add uh, let's start uh, working in the code and i have already opened uh, my ecom 9 folder it's already there in sublime uh, so first of all i'm going to open the delivery addresses uh, are there in the delivery addresses blade file okay so i'm going to add uh, one id with every uh, field after every field i'm going to add the id and i will also open the custom.js file okay in the front okay we are working on the front so i will open the custom.js file located at the front folder of js and here i will search for that uh, script uh, uh, that we have used add edit uh, uh, see what is the form id we can check here the form id here inspect we can check here the form id is the address add edit form so we can open its jquery so here you can see we don't have any kind of uh, uh, validation here and one thing more we need to check uh, we will check uh, from where we are storing okay so we have the controller address controller and uh, we can check here uh, save delivery address and yeah the remove address is also there save save delivery address is working for us and uh see uh, we are uh, we need to check here that the validation uh, we need to send if there is some error here we need to add the validation as well okay so if we add the validation like uh, validator class we will add add the val validations we are going to add and if there is any error we are going to return that error in the ajax response and from here uh, we are going to show the error in the form okay so this process we are going to do now okay okay so uh, first of all we are going to use the validator class okay use validator so we are going to add the laravel validation that will work in ajax okay so here uh, we are going to add the dollar validator 
uh, we will directly check uh, in validator class uh, in one line we can check like this uh, like dollar request we will uh, get all the requests here in the validator class and uh, we'll check all and one by one uh, we are going to check all the fields here okay like this and so it's okay so here uh, we are going to add uh, all the fields that require the validation like uh, delivery name uh, we can check in our form see here delivery name delivery address all the field delivery name required field uh, means that is required so uh, we are going to use here the required like this okay and the next one is uh, delivery address so we can do it like this for delivery address and the next one uh, for all we are going to do like this okay and now i'm going to add all the fields here because we want the customer to fill all the fields delivery city then delivery state after that delivery country and after that uh, delivery pin code after that uh, delivery mobile also okay so we can remove the last one and here uh, you can add uh, more of the validations like in case of mobile uh, in india only 10 digit mobile is there you can and mobile number is in numeric okay and digits only 10 digits are required like this you can add your own validation okay uh, pin code can be six digits so you can add the validation for the pin code as well okay so uh, we have done the validator valid validation earlier also rules these rules we have earlier also added so you can specify you can check in users controller as well in user controller uh, we have done in account okay see the validation okay you can add the string required string so you can copy from here also here also we are using the digits 10 and in pin codes digit 6 okay we can here also we can add the pin code at digit 6 okay and string is also uh, we can add for all these in the same way we can add the same validation like we have added there uh, we can I just simply we can do it like this okay so now our validations are done and now uh, see uh, see if validator passes then uh, we are going to do all this that we are doing earlier doing we are going to add the delivery test of the customer but if validator fails then we are going to return the error message okay so if in case the validator passes if polar validator so if it passes okay so in that case uh, uh, we are going to uh, see we are going to do all uh, what we require uh, here i think it's wrong air passes here uh, no need to do it this is here okay so now see it is fine else this one so all this i'm going to put in inside passes okay and i'm going to do it like this okay and if the validation fails in the fail case uh, we are going to return with the error message okay return response json and we are going to uh, send uh, the uh, status we are not sending any status in 
no we are not sending any status in response so we will simply send the uh, we can send the type as validation or we can check here what we are sending in user controller uh, type as success type as error so the same thing we are going to do we are going to send the type as error along with the validator uh, validator errors okay validator messages okay whatever the comes in the uh, response of the writer class okay see type error and in errors we are going to send the messages whatever return from the writer class whatever messages whatever the error that is coming from the rules okay uh, that we have mentioned okay so now in ajax response here uh, we are going to do in the same way like we have done uh, for the account uh, for the account valid validation uh, we need to uh, see we will check once we have done uh, with the account validation see we have the validation for all like the register form validation account form validation so we are going to use the same kind of validation here uh, we are going to check like the response type is error then we are going to show all these well all the errors uh, in the html form okay so see like we have done here account hyphen so it means like account hyphen whatever come in the for each loop of the jquery so one by one everything will come here like the name uh, then address then like this okay so same thing we are going to do here so here we need to specify we have uh, here in uh, tags here we need to specify here uh, separate uh, fields we are going to add here okay uh, like in the account page if you remember that we have done in the account as well you can see here like uh, is the p tag with ids we specify so in the same way we're going to do there like uh, so we are going to specify here okay so here uh, we are going to mention here delivery okay and here we're going to mention delivery name like this because its name is the delivery name its name is not email uh, like uh, like its name is here name only because its uh, name we are using name okay here we are using the address as name so the address will come up here like here we are going to do the same thing so we are using the delivery name as the name so we are going to mention here the delivery name okay so same thing we are going to do with all the input after all the input tags we are going to add the p tag with the id so here delivery address will come okay so we are going to mention it like this Okay. Here we are going to mention for both, and here the DB mobile will come, and here the DB pin code. Okay, and uh, we are required uh, this validation here. So, what we are going to do? I'm going to copy this one and and going to add in our form where it is here it is okay here I'm going to remove this one and we'll add it here like this okay in else we are going to put this one okay and in response type if error then here it will come like delivery okay so we are going to check now i'm going to refresh here and we'll see if it will show the error message or not we have already opened the console always open the console when you will work with the jquery and ajax like this so I will click on ship to a new address first of all. We'll click on submit, save, 
and here you can see how beautiful it is it is asking to add all the fields and it goes away okay the db name field is required db address okay so it is clearly telling to uh, fill all the fields okay so i'm going to add the new address now like any new address i can add here okay So if I will left something then it will ask us to fill those fields it will not lead the earlier one just it will ask us to fill those one new one okay only mobile is left if you will click on save delivery mobile field is required okay fine uh, we are going to fill this one so if you will uh, give the wrong mobile number the delivery mobile must be 10 digits okay so I'm going to remove two now see still it is not correct one more now it is correct now you can see the div address has been added instantly okay it's working fine now in the case of edit as well the same validation we are using the same add edit form is same for us so now we will try to remove the name and the user will try to save then it will not save it will say delivery name field is required okay so the user is required to fill that field only then it is going to save that okay so our validations are working fine so these validations are mandatory you need to add this validation for your uh, delivery address okay uh, and in next video we are going to work on this order view we are going to show all the uh, product items that the user is going to order and along with that we are going to start working on the payment methods we are going to work on the cod first of all after COD, we are going to integrate the other payment methods as well. Okay, so please stay tuned for the next videos and uh, and you can surely contact me if you have any query. So that's all for now. Have a nice time. Good.